Welcome back, everybody. We just found another issue. So I'll take a look over here, if you guys will. And now take a look there. Yes, that's right. My radiator is broken. So that sits like that, and it's broke. So I'm thinking we're just going to say the heck with everything. And I think we're just going to go for a full new radiator kit and start looking into doing a twin turbo kit because... Why not? But anyways, um, got the nav sensor. My bolts are too long, so that's a problem. And then transmission over here is gonna be going up in the car. Gotta take the hood off. Got a lot of customization stuff to do. So we're gonna be doing the new hood, a new wing, a new bumper, a new diffuser. Um, might do some new headlights for funsies but got to do some powder coating on the wheels so that's a fun surprise for you all still need to get it tinted not sure about suspension yet but got to take the motor back off this week got to get it all taken off of my subframe so i can bolt subframe back up take hood off to get hood ready and then got to take the cross member uh, strut tower brace, you know, the things. And then we're going to try and drop the motor through the top, I think. And then bolt it to the transmission. I have no clue how that's going to go. But we're going to give it a try. So wish me luck, y'all. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are unboxing one of the final parts for the Mustang. But I do want to show you guys something else before we get started. This here, if you guys have a 5 liter, a Mustang, a F-150, you know those crappy eco plugs? This is your solution. Go on to RoninFactory.com and get you guys one of these. Very high quality. So that's what it looks like. This cap right here is metal. This is the magnet. And it just replaces the eco plug. And then when you guys go to do your own oil change, you know, you take the eco plug out. And next thing you know, you guys got quite a mess everywhere just that fast. Well, guess what? You take off this gold cap right here. And guess what you're left with? It's not flowing yet. You know why? You guys need one of these tools. This little tool right here screws right into the top what that does is that compresses the bottom this is just a washer as you guys can see magnetic at the bottom makes it very pain but anyways you can see if you guys look very very closely if i can get my big hands out the way you guys will notice something you didn't see before you notice that magnet is being pushed out that is what releases the airflow. This little blue is a gasket. Now you have a steady stream coming straight out of here. No mess, nothing. It is the most handy thing I've ever bought. Um, it will be going on the Mustang, the first oil change, because for whatever reason, Ford shipped my new motor, crate motor, might I add, with oil in it. So if you guys want a little quick solution something to replace those crappy eco plugs head over to roninfactory.com this is not a sponsored video if y'all are wondering but if ronin factory would like to sponsor me by any chance now's your chance as you guys can see they come really packaged very nicely i just wanted to give them a shout out i love these things they are amazing now, as most of you do not know at this point in time, I took off the struts. We have got everything almost ready to go, just waiting on a few parts. Could not get my subframe lined up, so we are going to do it a little bit differently. And in this video, you guys will get to see the finished product of the Mustang. It is currently the 25th, so you guys are not going to see this for about two weeks. But 
when it does come out this is going to be something amazing so as you guys can see the end of this is very hard to tell but it is very burnt and cut up and the end of this as well is pretty messed up and as you guys can see all the dings this is from a mcpherson strut now when you take off the subframe and you drop the suspension so for those of you looking to Take your suspension off and replace it. This can be a simple way. It was not as simple though on my car because I've taken them off a few times and must have screwed them up a little. So, to show you guys what we have for $34 courtesy of CJ Pony Parts. We have got four new bolts for the, or nuts for the strut and four new ones of these these both all are going to be on the front struts so we are very very excited for those to be here so that we can really get going on the mustang the final thing are these guys i've got 202 sensors as you guys can tell kind of at least Let's see if i can get this a little bit better the end of this is very black and dirty so we will be getting new ones we have one on the way and the other one, unfortunately, is back ordered. Now, something else I have not shown you guys. This here is the HP Tuners MPVI3. You need four credits for the Mustang tuning. I've got a tune from Rob Maker, Rob Shoemaker, sorry. And we are working on getting Rob Shoemaker the stock file, but I run off Apple. Everything I do is Apple. So for tuning is very hard very much so a pain in the butt so unfortunately that's not happening today so until the mustang is running we won't be able to finish tuning but we might not need tuning right away now a little bit of a backstory before we finish this part here before i finish unboxing this part little backstory I had the transmission bolted to the motor. I have everything ready to go, except for my MAF sensor, the bolts, and getting the subframe lined up and basically hooking all the wires back together. I am gonna be getting an AC compressor later down the road. Figured it's winter in Colorado. We don't need no AC right now. Speaking of how it was, 10 degrees today. Fahrenheit, by the way. So, for the backstory here, got it all bolted together, and guess what is back off again? The transmission, because I realized I missed a part. If you all can guess what that part is, comment down below. So, for those of you who missed the last scene, this is what we're missing. So, this covers up the bottom. This is where your starter goes through. This is known as the bell housing spacer plate i believe either mine was stolen or taken but the purpose of it is basically a dust cover so that is what we were missing but the benefit of paying 83 dollars for this guy is it comes with those bolts these bolts this bolt couple of these guys here the nuts and whatever this guy is because I honestly don't know those are all part of the transmission bolts and little stud thingies yes so I managed to forget that and here we are so now we have all new bolts I was missing a couple so this worked perfect that I forgot this um but yeah, we got a few more parts, and then I've got new oil, brake fluid downstairs as well, and we've almost got our final brake line in. But I thought I'd share all of this with you guys so that you guys could see roughly where we're at and how close we are. The Mustang will be done finally by the end of the year, and we are going to be set to go next year. And I'm looking forward to that first cold start with you guys. So if you guys are ready for a cold start, make sure you guys stick around back everybody we are back again today we are started working almost forgot the film here we got our transmission in the other day subframes back on and as you guys can tell we got the hood off our new brake line is on 
Um, and now, oh yeah, I've got to show you guys. We got our new brakes put on, our um, rotors and um, calipers. We just haven't put wheels on yet, but we are about to put the motor in. So who's ready for this? Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a speed lapse on this and see what we do. This is the first time I'm doing this, so we're going to see if it works. We took it out through the bottom. We're putting it back in through the top. Let's see how this goes. Welcome back, everybody. Here we are with the snap-on on day three of trying to get the new motor put in this guy right here. So, there was a little sneak peek in that if y'all didn't notice. But we are on day three, and this is what we're working with. So, we are heading under the car. Now to remove a transmission. Probably help if I kept the camera straight, wouldn't it? That's a little difficult right now. Because now we got to remove Mr. Transmission in order to get... The engine in and then we got to figure headers out after that but we need to get this transmission in and that's been a little difficult so today you guys get to watch sorry about the angle here yeah you guys can't see me can you so we are going to move the, that so you guys can see a little bit more but today we're going to attempt to remove the transmission so that we can get a motor in on day three of attempt. So, stay tuned. And yes, this is a little bit painful, a little bit rough. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. So what we're doing right now here is removing our transmission mount. And probably the most ghetto possible way, it's fine. going to move to the other side. Whew. That kills the back. Real good. For those of you that don't know what the next step is, the next step is taking our 13 mil and we are going to remove the drive shaft bolts even though I should probably just replace my drive shaft. But for those of you that don't know, that was that 18 mil we just used on the motor mounts. And yes, this is an uh, engine table to help from everything crushing me in about just a few minutes when this comes off again. But once we get the motor in, putting the transmission in will be so much easier. Very excited for that. That one's rounding for some reason. Put the right one on. Watch it. I think it's supposed to be a 12 mil. Might have messed that up. Yeah. So guess what I get to go get now? Crawl out of the car. Go grab me my 12, 12 mil for the motor mount there or for the drive shaft bolts. See y'all in just a minute. Yeah, I need to, I think, invest in one of those rolly little, little rollers. 
roller cart things. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Yeah, so that's going to be a 12 for the drive shaft if I can get it. Get it in there. There we go. That's better. Oh, but the fun part now is getting to those drop top drive shaft bolts because there are going to be four. And you guessed it, they're in an angle I cannot see, but it's doable. Or it should be. That's three out of four. Now we're going to be a little bit less safe, and we're going to drop down the table a little here so we can get to the third bolt, which this is why this setup is beneficial. I was going to do a one piece carbon drive shaft, but this is the stock two piece drive shaft, which has made my life tremendously easier for doing this. And that is everything there. Now, we can get that out and lower that down. Now we're going to push it forward a little bit here, maybe. Just kidding. I'm going to raise this up some because there we go. That got it off the main bolt bit rough how that happened. It's all good though. If you notice that, it looks like I almost dented my transmission. Nope, that is supposed to be like that. That is perfect. Now we're going to collect all our bolts and sockets, slide out, and then get back under here. We are going to grab the transmission out and hopefully get a motor in here. One, two, three, four bolts for the drive shaft. One socket, one snap on gun. Now, my favorite part here, not so favorited because I gotta take and slide it out and I don't have room because the motor's at the front. Actually, we might be good just to leave this like this. Let's see how things go, guys. So for those of you that have been following for a minute, I know it's all going to be one probably very long video here, but this is where we left off. We got the motor up here. Now I got to lift the car up. Now I got to lower the car some, maybe. And then we got to try and get this bad boy right here put in. See how things go. All right, everyone, so as you guys can see, here we go here, we're getting there. The way we're doing it this time, down here, we're trying to make the motor mount down there connect onto what you can't really see from the angle I'm filming down here, so that it will sit on there, and then we can get it all bolted in, which will keep the motor in place where I need it. In fact, we are lined up now almost completely lined up just where I need it just got to move it a little bit get it unhooked from a couple things then we're almost good if this goes as planned we're gonna have a motor and a transmission and then I gotta order a radiator and then we will be all set to go minus the tune we're almost there two years in the making Four months trying to put everything back together. We're almost there. All right, everyone. Guess what? 
we have the motor on the motor mounts. It is being held up. Now we're gonna take off the engine, engine stand thingy, engine hoist. There's the word I'm looking for. And we're gonna drop down, lift the car up, and we are gonna start getting the headers on before I do the transmission. Then we'll put the transmission in. Who's ready for this? What's up everyone? Yep. Well, not bad for three hours. We dropped the transmission, put a motor in, put the transmission back in. I think it's been pretty productive. We got the starter in, just need to finish bolting up all the bolts in the transmission. And then we got to finish putting all the wiring back in. And then we're gonna order the new radiator from Mishimoto and we'll be done. Just got to throw some brake fluids, some coolant. It's already got oil in it. Don't ask me why Ford did that because I don't have a clue, but I'm pretty happy with this. We got a lot done, three hours, three hours. So not bad. Um, first time got some wiring done. Just need to throw a little bit more wiring and then we got to put those headers back in as well. Pretty happy. Kind of surprised, honestly. Yeah. So we're going to go eat dinner and pick back up on the rest of this build in the next video. So if you guys enjoyed Please like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to go check out the merch down in the description. Peace out. Here's a little sneak peek of the newest merch drop. So as promised everyone, I wanted to go over the newest merch drop. So as far as the merch drop goes, we came out with the Snow White um, DXC hats, which are only available here in the hats. As you can see, we did a white design. We kind of went back to that old-fashioned design, but they do come in a black hat, the blue hat, the red, and kind of a maroon color. Um, so as you can see, and these are the official prices right up here. Make sure you guys use DXC10 for 10% off your order. And we are doing a special New Year's. You can also use DXC23 and get 15% off select orders over a certain price. Um, so make sure you guys check this out. As of starting on December 26th, right after Christmas, we are going to be adding a DXC24 DXC24 code for the New Year, which will be valid until January 1st, 2024. And that will get you a special 20% discount for that short period of time for New Year. So as you guys can see, like I said, this is your current selection for the Snow White collection. Then we came out with the Tricolore um, Tricolored DXC, which looks just like our old design. But we added this little sneak peek on the back, Daily Exotic Cars. Um, so this hat here is going to be available in black, dark gray, dark navy, heather, gray, a maroon color, as well as the navy color. And then so you guys can also see the front so that you guys know that your design will still show on all of these colors. Um, we've been very cautious with this 
um, to make sure that the colors will stand out. This is kind of a raised print, all stitched in very, very high quality. Then we're going to go back. This is just a little sneak peek of every single design here, color and everything. Um, and then our final newest addition. We have stickers. You guys can see that we have hoodies, um, windbreakers, stickers all over, hats. The only one that the hat will not come with is this Crazy Horse Limited. So what this is, this is a special take back to the original Mustang when I had it all done with lighting under the um, hood as well as the uh, multicolor lights branded and everything. This is also our highest quality hoodie as you can see the R Premium. Um, we do ship worldwide. The pricing is again accurate up to date unless you guys and they're all the same price no matter the size. Everything is available and it, it ships with in those first three days so get your stuff today guys all orders go towards the channel and help out making content um, so make sure you guys go check this out we have our traditional design on the front as well as on the back kind of showcasing just some new merch with the car on there haven't had anything with the car and we are getting so close to getting this done so if you guys help out and get this merch all of the proceeds will go directly to getting this vehicle done which i'm super excited about getting the vehicle done we are almost almost there i appreciate your guys' support see you guys next time